Now, another type of quadrilateral is the parallelogram. The parallelogram has similar traits to the trapezoid, but it's slightly different, meaning it is a different shape, it just shares some qualities. There are four things we need to look at to determine if it is a parallelogram. Now, it has to be four straight lines. It's a type of quadrilateral, so it has to have the, <laughs> the shape of a quadrilateral, meaning four lines. Both sets of opposite sides are parallel. So unlike the trapezoid, which just needed one, parallelogram needs two sets or both sets of parallel lines. I'll add the two in there. It also has opposite angles that are the same size. So angles that are on the opposite side of each other have to be about the same size. Well, the same size. And opposite sides are the same length. So to be a parallelogram, your opposite sides have to be the same length. That means this side right here has to match in length to this side. This side right here has to match length to this side. So let's see which of these shapes are parallelograms. And if they're not a parallelogram, what characteristic does it not have that makes it so it's not a parallelogram? Now, my first characteristic is four straight lines. All of these have four straight lines. There is no curved line, no shape with three lines, no shape with five lines. They're all four straight lines. So every one is already meeting the characteristics. Now this one says both sets of opposite sides are parallel. So let's check for parallel using our straight edge. We line it up. Opposite would be all the way across. And it perfectly matches. So the top and the bottom of this structure right here are parallel. Remember we showed up with an arrow. Let's check its sides. Lined up, move it slowly, and it perfectly lines up again. So these two are parallel to one another. So all of those are parallel, which means yes, this is a parallelogram. I also know that because the opposite sides are the same length and the opposite angles are the same. So this is a parallelogram. Now let's check this middle structure. Put my straight edge here, line it up, slowly move it down, and it matches. So these two sides are parallel to one another. Same here. Put this up. Slowly bring it down. They're parallel to one another as well. Now I could measure two to make sure that they're the same size or length. If I measure this, it's about So, yeah, they hit the same mark on my straight edge. You could make a knot on your picture frame or just kind of know how generally how long it is to see if it matches up. So this one is a parallelogram. And let's check out this one. Already looking at it, I can kind of see maybe it's not a parallelogram. Well, let's try it. Line it up, move it slowly down. They don't seem to line up very well. I'm gonna try one more time just to make sure I didn't make a mistake. But no, they don't line up. They're a little bit off, which means they'll intersect and they're not parallel. Let's try our two side structure. Line it up, move it slowly. And those two lines also don't line up perfectly. So those are also not parallel. So this structure is not a parallelogram. Not a parallelogram. And I 
I know this because it does not have two sets of parallel lines. Ah, there we go. Again, complete sentences, does not have parallel lines. Parallelograms need two sets of parallel lines.